What color is his hat? Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you my SNES Classic Edition setup. Uh, this is what I've done so far after using the Hackchi mod. Uh, so for my main screen, I've got Arcade. I've got Arcade Classics. And I just put some, uh, some icons here for each system. I have Nintendo, Nintendo Famicom, Super Nintendo, Super Famicom, Virtual Boy, Game Boy Advance, Sega Genesis, Sega Master System, Sega 32X, TurboGrafx-16, and then back to Arcade. So I'm using, uh, right now, I'm just using my retro receiver and my 8-BitDo SNES 30. Kind of hard to see with the lighting. I got to shoot this with my phone. Um, I don't have a capture card. But we'll go into Arcade real quick. Um, I made my own little back box art, so it's a Super Nintendo box for the back button. Uh, 1941. This is all running off of Main 2003. Uh, there's two games I recommend running off Main 2010. So that's uh, B Rap, Bo uh, not B Rap Boys. Sorry. Ninja Baseball Batman. Uh, I ran this on Main 2003. It's got some stuttering issues. Uh, I'm gonna try it on 2010. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's where it'll work uh, a lot better on the 2010 core. The other game, um, it's called Moe's Tavern here, but it's actually Tapper. Uh, don't run that on MAME 2003, run that on MAME 2010. Uh, it just runs a heck of a lot better. But uh, Mumisa, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, everything else seems to be running great. If you'll notice, uh, mo these games are just one two-button games. Uh, the reason for that is I wanted to have my arcade games to be uh, useful with my uh, edge joystick from my NES Classic. So it's only got the two buttons, but it's a decent little arcade stick. I mean, I don't have a, a Wii stick and this one's made for the NES Classic, so it works perfectly with this. Um, I'm gonna be doing another video um, very soon about which controllers I've tested with the N SNES Classic Edition. Um, what's working and what's uh, problematic So you can see we've got a lot of two button games in here So we'll go back. I don't want to make this video too too long um, For my folder structure, I didn't go over 60 games per folder um, I kept getting shutdown issues a C8 error when I power off so I, I put it to 60 and, it, and I haven't had that issue at all uh, Inside my arcade classics. I just went with some older ones uh, Donkey Kong, great. And with MAME 2003, you can add the samples as well, which is really nice. Um, so we have all the sounds for Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. and all them. Uh, Mario is in here as well. The Mario Bros. Miss Pac-Man and Pac-Man. I mean, some people use Final Burn Alpha, and that's cool. I just find the games run better with MAME 2003, and my Tapper and Ninja Baseball Batman just run better with MAME 2010. Just a personal preference. And I only stuck to two button games, like I mentioned earlier, to to correspond with my NES Classic Edition um, controller. So Nintendo, I mean, I'm going to have 60 games in there. and I'll show you what I did with Famicom. Um, basically, so we've got Altered Beast. Um, this was uh, Jap Japanese only, but this is an English translated game. Um, Final Fantasy, this had a bug fix. Final Fantasy 2 uh, was Japanese only. Final Fantasy 3 was Japanese only. These are English translations. Final Fantasy 7, the NES ROM. Uh, Kung Fu is a North American release, but because Kung Fu 2 was a uh, Japan only release, I put the um, English translated ROM, as well as Labyrinth is an English translated ROM, and Splatterhouse, same thing, and Zombie Hunter. So, I mean, if you if you were to look at the Final Fantasy, I'll, I'll go into it real quick, in case you guys aren't familiar with this. Somebody went and did Final Fantasy VII on the NES. And so, there's Barrett. And then there's Cloud. So, I mean, basically, 
It's uh, it's Final Fantasy VII, eight bit, which is really awesome. I, I really like it. Um, but I'm I'm just gonna I use select and down to get out of my games. So yeah, for for this I I put mostly um, my translated Japanese ROMs. I thought that would fit nicely um, with the Famicom logo right there. Uh, Super Nintendo. Um, I have a bunch in there. Super Famicom. I don't have a lot. Uh, Bohemian Lagoon, and this is uh, English translated. Earthbound Halloween Hack. Um, this is really cool. You guys should check this game out. Uh, Hagani, which I believe this was North American as well, but I just threw it in here um, so I could keep any SNES at 60 games and then put my overflow in here. There's also a Earthbound Holiday Hex, uh, which is a cool game. I'm starting to get into to the holiday and the Halloween one now with my son. We started earlier. And uh, all, all English as well. Uh, Super Back to the Future Part 2, Japanese only. This is English translated. I designed the artwork for the two Halloween hacks. I couldn't find artwork, so I just threw something real quick together. Uh, Virtual Boy, I think I only put three in here. Yeah, just Jack Bros, Mario Clash, and Virtual Boy Wario Land. I really like this game. Best Virtual Boy game, uh, in my opinion, is, is Virtual Boy Wario Land. This is actually going a lot longer than I anticipated, but hey, why not? Game Boy Advance, you know, those games are fairly large, um, so I didn't put a lot. Deal or no deal, I want to try that with my wife. And Metroid Zero Mission, I have never tried the Metroids for Game Boy Advance. Uh, I only have room for one at a time because everything, all my other ROMs are taking up so much space. So I went with Zero Mission first. Can't wait to dive into that game. And then we have Sega Genesis, which has a bunch. Sega Master System has a bunch. 32X, uh, I don't have many in here. NBA Jam Tournament Edition, Primal Rage, and World Series Baseball starring Deion Sanders. I, I just put in games that I really like. So I didn't fill up Sega Master System with 60 uh, or 32X or Turbo Graphics. Um, the only thing missing from my Turbo Graphics list here. That I'm going to be adding now is English translated versions of Die Hard as well as um, Knight Rider uh, to give those a go. The Die Hard I like, Knight Rider I'm not sure yet. I haven't really gotten into it too much. Uh, but you can get English translated ROMs if you look on the internet. I can't tell you where. <laughs> and that's pretty much it guys. So there's my setup there. Um, I think it looks pretty nice. Um, and I mean, to each his own, if anyone needs any help or anything, I'll, tr I was going to try and make a video on doing, uh, arcade because, you know, you got to have bioses and stuff like that. So, and samples and stuff like this. So, uh, basically I will most likely do a video if there's enough requests for one, um, on how to do MAME 2003 or MAME 2010. Everyone else I see is using Final Burn Alpha. And that's fine. Like, again, it's a personal preference. But honestly, I think that MAME 2003 and MAME 2010 are the two that I'm going to stick with the most. Final Burn Alpha, maybe for the larger games, you know, or the Metal Slugs, you know, stuff like that. But for the most part, I'm going to stick to, to MAME myself. So, I mean, feel free to post in the comments uh, what you prefer, what your setup is. I, I, I'd love to get feedback on any of this and uh, hear everyone's opinions. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Most importantly, have a good day.